Welcome to the My Body at Work show. I'm your host, Dr. Emmett Blonick, a show where pounds are shed, diseases dead, pills are in the past, and you are living the life of your dreams. If you have a health question, concern, or topic you want me to address, just email me at info at mybodyatwork.com or you can join us on Facebook. Hey guys, it's Dr. Emmett Blonick with mybodyatwork.com, and today I'm discussing IT band syndrome. Uh, something that I was asked about twice this last week, uh, something that I've struggled with personally as a triathlete. Many uh, runners, uh, triathletes, cyclists, um, even people getting back into exercise um, that haven't really used their muscles. It's considered more of a over, um, an over-exercise condition or an over-training condition, but if you're somebody that hasn't been exercising regularly, and you're starting to get back into it, you can actually be overtraining because your 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 body and your muscles just aren't aren't ready for the the uh, the burden that you're putting on them. So IT band syndrome is this. Uh, basically, you're, it feels like somebody stabbing a knife into the lateral or the the side of your knee joint. Um, you feel it right here, and if it progresses, it's actually getting a little bit worse. You can feel it into your hip, so where your, your uh, ball joint of your hip is as well. You have a, a condyle right here. It can get really extreme, extremely painful right there as well. I literally thought my knee was out of joint when I, I got this. Um, I got it during an Ironman race at about mile 20 and then been um, having to deal with it over the last couple of years as a result of that. But the, um, the IT band itself, is a band that connects from your hip, your ilium, all the way down to the lateral or the side of your knee. So there's, there's literally a band that kind of goes like this. Where it becomes a major problem is the fact that it attaches down below the knee joint and then the band continues going this way. So as you're running or cycling, that band actually slides back and forth over that knee joint and it can become very irritated, very inflamed, very painful um, to the point where it can be almost disabling. But what I want to do is give you some very uh, quick, easy things you can do to um, combat this IT band syndrome. And really it's a combination of stretching, stretching the ligament that has created some micro tears and adhesions. It's, tight, it's basically tightening up and that's what's creating part of the inflammation. So there's a combination of stretching, stretching this ligament, the IT band, as well as strengthening. Uh, the strengthening comes into play because there is, there's muscles that are weak. Um, and one of the things that are weak are the abductors. So the things that make your, your legs come out this way, that's abducting. And you have some weak muscles particularly in the gluteus area, the gluteus medius. Um, so your butt area has some weak muscles that you're going to need to be strengthening. So we're going to go through a combination of the things that will commonly give you IT band syndrome. We're going to give you the stretches to stretch the IT band as well as the strengthening to strengthen the weak muscles. Uh, one thing that is really common to create this condition is something where you're over pronating while you're running. And that just simply means that for some reason, as you run, your foot is kind of bending inward like this. My biggest thing for you, if you're a runner or you're beginning running, is get your butt to a running store, somebody that knows how to analyze your foot as you're running. They actually have um, they have treadmills where you can watch your foot on a video. Um, if you're in the Madison area, play, places like Fleet Feet Sports, uh, the Endurance House, you can actually see how your feet are positioned while you're running. And then accordingly, they would be actually fitting you with the appropriate shoe to correct that condition. The problem when you over pronate is that your knee tends to go inward. Thus, really um, adding burden to the IT band. You're going to be dealing with some long-term problems then. So just take some time, get fitted with the right shoe if you're a runner. 
The other thing that can happen is if you're running consistently in a pattern, so if you have a normal route you go, the route may be sloped. And so if it's sloped, you may be strengthening one side of your body more than the other. Um, so I would say reverse the route, um, try to get a variety of different routes, particularly if you're doing track workouts. The other thing is um, your pelvis right here, you may have a tilted pelvis as a result of something that may be going on in your low spine. If you feel like that's a problem, get your butt to a chiropractor, um, have them analyze your pelvis, and begin doing some things to correct that pelvis. Otherwise, again, it's long-term problems. Um, the other thing that is really common if you're more into the cycling or you're a triathlete is something called towing in. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Okay, so the other common thing if you're a cyclist or you're beginning cycling, maybe you're a, you're a spinner, you take a spin class, is something that commonly happens is you end up towing in. So your foot, instead of being in this neutral position in a proper pedal stroke form, you end up putting your toes in this way. And what that ends up doing is, again, bringing your knee in, tightening up that IT band, and you're going to be suffering with IT band syndrome. What can we do to, to stretch the IT band? Uh, probably the most, I would say the, the most important one is using something called a foam roller. And this would typically be when you're a little bit more warmed up. I've even filled a two liter bottle of water and used that in the same. Very simply, you're going to put that foam roller on the side of your leg just like this, supporting yourself with the other side. And so what you want to do as best as you can possibly handle it using this elbow here is just roll up and down that IT band just like this. Be careful not to go too far down where you're actually going over the lateral epicondyle of the knee, um, basically the knee, knee joint, because you can actually uh, make more inflammation or irritate it a little bit more. So you're just going up and down, um, you know, five, ten minutes just like that. The other thing while we're on here, also roll out um, the glute muscles and the piriformis. And simply just going into the buttocks or gluteus area just like this, similar, similar way, back and forth to let that relax a little bit. This is the perfect thing, probably one of the most important things um, that I use to combat IT band syndrome. The next thing is, is a four square leg stretch. Uh, it's pretty simple. What you do is you just cross this leg over this way and sit into the, the stretch just like this. And I can really feel it into my hip joint mostly, a little bit into this area, but primarily into the hip joint. And so you're going to lean down and stretch as much as you possibly can. I like to get this one a little bit deeper. And the way you do that is if you're, if you're flexible enough, your, your joints are still um, allowing you to, to use your body in this way. What I also do is bring the leg over this side and begin to push backwards and sit into the leg just like this. And here I'm stretching not only the IT band, I'm really stretching that piriformis muscle and just getting a great stretch. I like to just sit in here like this, a good 20, 30 seconds, come out, relax, go in and do it again two to three times. And if you're gonna do one side, you might as well do the other side as well. So I end up doing both sides. Another good stretch in a similar fashion is I'm stretching this side here, as what I'm going to do is bring my leg up and then pull it over just like this and then reaching over to the side like this. Sometimes what you can use is a towel here, holding the towel, bringing your leg up as far as you can and just letting your back relax against the floor. Um, that's going to really stretch the IT band. So a couple really good stretches there. Finally, I think probably the biggest one that I use is a sidestep. 
Um, I'm using a stool, you can use a wall, but basically keeping a straight leg on this side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over with this side and really lean into the IT bend and bring your hips forward. So try to bring your hips forward and stretch down. I actually sometimes push down on this side, really stretching down as much as you can. That's probably the most I can feel it. It's not comfortable because I need that IT band stretch. And then simply bring it over to the other side and do the other side as well. So those are a couple great stretches for the IT band. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna strengthen those weak abductor muscles. Uh, that typically being the glute medius muscle, the glute muscles. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to isolate those muscles. One thing that I use is a, just a band, so some form of a resistant band. Simply bring it around your legs, tie it around your legs so when, you're, when it's tight your knees are together. And then simply step out just like this. You're strengthening those abductor muscles. I actually try to kill two birds with one stone by um, standing up like this, having my band. And what I'm going to do, it's called a side step. I'm basically going to step down to the side keeping one leg stationary, coming straight down just like this. Okay, actually, you know, walk across your room like this. These are simple things to strengthen those weak muscles. Finally, another simple one, uh, not as effective, but simple, is if you don't have the bands, I'm going to be strengthening the, <coughs> I'm going to be strengthening this side is simply just lifting your leg up just like this. Another couple things that you can do if you have somebody to assist you is a little bit more deep tissue work on the IT band. And what that looks like whether you're using a Graston technique, ART, um, some type of physical therapy, deep tissue therapy is actually rubbing out the belly of that IT band or the, the, the muscle belly of that IT band. And what I would typically say is start from the start from the, the knee and work with pressure, aggressive pressure this way, as well as from the, the belly of it and work it down this way. And then from also the hip joint coming down this way, but then going back from the belly and coming back out this way. It's going to really loosen up that IT band. Um, I think part of the other thing is getting that inflammation under control. A couple things there is um, allowing the, the muscles and ligaments to just calm down a little bit, making sure you're getting you know, a pretty excessive amount of magnesium. So somewhere between 300 to 600 milligrams of magnesium as well as something like turmeric, um, those anti-inflammatory type of herbs, those would be really great. Making sure you get uh, good omega fats in your body, it's gonna help to um, also decrease the amount of inflammation. And then stay away from inflammatory types of foods. Uh, if you wanna look more into what anti-inflammation type of eating looks like, I'll have that posted on my website, but hopefully, this was enough to help you get started with combating IT band syndrome. Remember, it's a combination of stretching the IT band, strengthening weak muscles, and maybe a little bit of deep tissue therapy and you're gonna be fine.